Today we're going to do a walk around on the Adventure 80W. 80W Adventure Truck Camper for 2013 has the new three dimensional graphics, gel coat, high gloss fiberglass siding, hard wall camper. Come up on the driver's side, you see the lockable potable water fill location. This has the Happy Jack manual jacks, the new generation with the galvanized foot and tube. And the upper tube is also hot dip galvanized with a powder coat over the top of it. The new seal here has a nice seal stopping debris. As you come down the side of the driver's side of the camper, you see the back of the hot water tank, the battery box here, lockable single battery tray, it's an ABS enclosure, not using the metal slide out trays that corrode and make it hard to get your battery in or out. This just needs to lift up and slide your battery out. Also your 12 volt disconnect switch is in the battery. Just past that is the access to your electrical power cord, 30 amp service, with the 30 amp power cord and we provide every unit with a 110 adapter which most manufacturers don't do. The outside shower is located right next to that. It's an optional item. As the outside shower you can grab the head, easily pull it out, extend it. Hot and cold control valves for easy outside cleaning. At the rear of the coach is your battery, is your propane compartment. And then here we have two dual propane tanks. One tank is standard dual propane tanks. The second tank is an option. If you get the second optional tank, it comes equipped with the auto switchover valve. At the rear of the unit, you'll see new for 2013, the black accent ladder, which is an optional item. The black friction hinge door, which we'll demonstrate in a moment. And the new black accented tinted windows. You'll see up at the top, if you order the AM FM stereo, CD, DVD player, it comes standard with exterior speakers and you see the new for 2012-2013 the exterior LED light, porch light, patio light, and your exterior clearance lights. On this particular model this unit fits short or long bed trucks. This today it's on a Ford F-250 short bed and your tail lights on the truck will act as your tail lights for the camper. No additional lights are needed in this configuration as you can see. At the rear of the unit is the optional manual, manual awning. It's a seven foot by eight foot awning with the traditional legs that come down to the side, are detachable and can be set out as a patio unit. As we come up the passenger side of the camper, you'll see a nice storage bay at the front of the camper, giving you a, a bunch of uh, additional storage in the unit. Manual jack handles are stored in here at this moment. Adventure prides itself on making campers lighter and making sure the COG center of gravity is in the correct place. You can see this particular truck uh, camper, as we said before, is on the F-250 short bed. You can see our COG on this is well in front of the axle, towards the front of the load range, actually. We will actually publish the weight of every camper as it leaves the factory on the indoor sticker on the cupboard inside. And we will post this bright red and white arrow showing the COG of this camper as tested when it left the factory. Most manufacturers will just do a measurement and put them all the same. We actually measure the weight and the COG of every unit. At the rear of the unit, under the optional ladder, is the sewer connection. It's enclosed. In a nice convenient cabinet. You can access it there with your dump valve is all right there for your black tank. One of the nice features this year for the 2013 ALP Adventure products is the new friction hinge door. You can open it up, put it in whatever position, no need for plastic door catches. 
or gas props to break. It stays in windy conditions wherever you set it. It has the new heavier triple thickness frame screen door with the kick panel down below and the nice clear easy access clear uh, solid plastic access for better sealing. The 80W even though being a smaller unit is not exempt from the ALP exclusive Adventure True Composite Construction TCC. True Composite Construction is a proprietary system to ALP. It's a special bonding system that makes our walls second to none which is what's giving you that three year structural warranty. As you enter into the rear of the Adventure 80W for an eight foot camper you see it has pretty good room, has a large L-shape dinette with an adjustable table angled so that you have nice entrance into the unit and it's adjustable as a slider on it so you can slide it out for more room in the back. This has a nice fold up additional L L uh, cushion so you get more seating available when needed. Up above is the overhead cabinets. These will fold down into a bunk and you can order the optional bunk pad and safety net if you want to use it up there. Otherwise you can leave it in the up position and use it for additional storage. The lower dinette section you pull the table off. This makes into a bed also. Just pull the pedestal leg out, set it aside. The lower section has a slide out base that pulls out and you move your back cushion to the front and it's made into a nice 76 inch bed in minutes. At the rear of the coach is the toilet. This does not have a shower. The 80W is about lightweight it into your lighter duty trucks. This base weights at 1898 pounds. It does have a toilet and black tank. It does not have gray but in addition to that it gives you a huge storage area with above hanging and big deep shelves for additional storage. As you look at the galley in your 80W this has the optional sealed burner, three burner with the optional oven and three burner stove, it comes standard with a two burner stove, but it has a sealed burner which gives you the sealed top where it's easier to clean. You don't have the debris dropping down below for fire hazards like on most manufacturers. And it has the big deep oven for all your cooking needs. It's a nice upgrade option for the 80W. You see the back splash for cooking grease that folds down and covers your burners for additional counter space. As you pan to the right you'll see the large single bowl sink still leaving you abundant cabinet space in this model for an eight footer. This gives you lots of room in your galley and in your dinette. Down below the galley you'll see your water pump and water heater switch and then further below you'll see your uh, thermostat controlled furnace heats the unit up quickly and efficiently as you move to the right in the lower cabinet section you'll see the storage area with the under counter storage and then you got deep drawers giving you additional drawer storage space in your unit the overhead cabinets are large for plenty of storage in it. You don't see this kind of storage in an 8 foot camper. You see here the optional AM FM CD DVD player with the new iPod MP3 shelf up above which is new for 2013. You'll also notice on the cabinet doors the the Melrose glazed maple around the edge really giving a lot more accent and pop on the inside and then additional more storage on the right side of the galley. Opposite of the galley is your five cubic foot refrigerator. It's a single door unit 
with your freezer inside. Pretty good size freezer for a smaller refrigerator and plenty of storage in the lower section for a five cubic foot with additional storage in the drawer and one crisper down below. Below the refrigerator is an additional storage area giving you additional storage that's accessible from the inside or from the outside. This is a traditional built camper without a basement so you have the main floor that sets in the bed of the unit. We have a nice step up to get up into the sleeping area. You can see as you go into the bedroom sleeper area you have large open access with a optional matching decor comforter. Windows on both sides additional storage, wardrobe storage right behind the privacy curtain additional storage up front with your personal reading light on each side and on the side here you have a deep gun cabinet with long storage for guns, pistols, security items, etc. At the end of that you have your TV countertop where you would place your TV also in the bedroom you have the 10 blade Creative Breeze fantastic fan giving you great ventilation really replacing air conditioning up to about 80 degrees. Down below the drawers in your galley area on the 80W is your electrical center which has your breakers, fuses, for easy access should you ever need to access them. New for 2013, even the 80W lightweight product from Adventure comes complete with 100% interior LED lights. Here is your stereo speakers in the ceiling, giving you two speaker stereo inside and two speaker stereo outside. Those all come with the AM FM CD DVD player option. You'll notice the large windows in the 80W giving you a great view of your exterior of your camping and you'll see the window treatments at the top nice accent fabric matching your interior decor beautifully another neat feature standard on the 80W is the night shades you can pull out and completely black out the exterior giving you complete security and privacy in the evening another nice standard feature on the 80W is the exterior folding assist handle here you see the standard folding assist handle on the 80W makes it easy to access your unit whether you're using a scissor step or a step off the receiver of your truck. So that concludes your video walk around of the Adventure 2013 80W truck camper. For more information feel free to contact our website at AML for additional information and to contact a sales rep for additional questions.